want a more focused Volkswagen Golf GTI, then you want the GTI Club Sport version. There's a little more power, a little more visual presence, and a lot more motorsport tuning care. Producing what many enthusiasts will feel is a very satisfying end result. The space between the Golf GTI and the Golf R is surely the smallest of market niches, but Volkswagen has for years been determined to fill it and does so in the Mark 8 Golf range with this car, the GTI Club Sport. To wonder why this model exists when, for not much more, customers could go faster and get four-wheel drive in a Golf R is to miss the point. Golf GTI enthusiasts often dismiss the Golf R as a hot hatch for board executives rather than one for the Nürburgring. They want something more focused, a Golf GTI with motorsport genes, the sort of thing that was served up in the previous generation range by the GTI TCR, those letters standing for touring car racing. Now that Volkswagen has turned its back on the TCR class, it's decided to return to the club sport name last used on a Golf in 2016. This car feels properly quick, so that's a good start. The EA treble eight two litre uh, TSI petrol turbo power plant supplied here in its 300 PS state of tune, which is 55 PS more than you get in a standard Golf GTI. It's the same engine that you'll find in a Cupra Leon TSI 300. Uh, the power height comes courtesy of a higher boost map and a larger intercooler plus a different turbocharger. All of which gives the car a more energetic character at higher revs, where only 5.6 seconds is necessary to get from rest to 62 miles an hour. That's only 0.7 seconds faster than the standard GTI, but that isn't what you're really paying the extra money for here. Just as on a Golf tuned for club racing, uh, loads of little changes make the difference. There's a 10 millimeter lower ride height, which results in significantly greater camber for the front wheels. Uh, the front springs and dampers are the same as those in a GTI, but there's a new control arm mount, uh, new wheel mounts, and new rear springs and dampers. Plus the car's VDQ electromechanical differential lock has been retuned, and the front brakes are upgraded with the same 357 millimeter discs and two pot calipers used in the Golf R. Unfortunately, you have to pay extra for DCC adaptive damping, uh, that's standard on the Cupra Leon, and sadly there's no manual gearbox option, which doesn't seem very club sport-like. But the seven-speed DSG paddle shift auto has a shorter final drive. Best of all, perhaps there's a bespoke addition to the standard GTI suite of selectable drive settings, charismatically christened the Nürburgring mode. This apparently was the setting that development driver Benjamin Lüter used to lap the classic Nürburgring Nordschleife, acclaimed 13 seconds quicker than the standard GTI model in seven minutes, 54 seconds, if you're interested. Uh, you'll need to be a real enthusiast to really appreciate the difference that all these little changes make. But if you are, you'll like the effect very much, especially if you're on a track, which, given the name, seems appropriate. The GTI Club Sport gets a range of subtle visual changes to differentiate it from a standard Golf GTI. Now, if you're an enthusiast, you may, for instance, have already noticed this variant's unique front lower splitter for increased downforce, and possibly also the revised GTI Club Sport bumper design. Move to the side, and you might pick up on the specially flared side skirts and the unique GTI Club Sport decals on the lower edge of the front doors. There's also a special 18 inch braking system designated by red calipers nestling within the spokes of alloy rims that would normally be 18 inches in size. Here though, they've been optionally upgraded to these 19 inch Esteril black diamond turned alloys. 
At the back, there's a gloss black two-part performance rear spoiler to reduce high-speed lift, and you get a special black GTI Club Sport rear diffuser as part of a styling pack that gives you bespoke bumper design and twin oval chromed exhaust tailpipes. Inside, bespoke Club Sport touches are much harder to spot, though Volkswagen has provided decorative inserts on the dash and front door panels, along with red contrast stitching with Art Velour's microfleece trimming for the GTI Club Sport Sport seats. Everything else is pretty much as it would be on the standard GTI model. Touches like the pulsating starter bar and this grippy sport steering wheel with its three silver double spokes. Because you can't have a stick shift with this derivative, there's no opportunity for this Model Line's usual signature golf ball style manual gear knob. Instead, there's a choice of either steering wheel paddle shifters or this short stubby DSG drive selector. If you haven't yet tried an 8th generation Golf, you'll be immediately struck by this cabin's futuristic feel, which comes courtesy of its so-called InnoVision cockpit arrangement, which fuses a 10.25-inch digital instrument binnacle screen with a 10-inch centre dash screen, the latter greeting you on entry with a red brand logo. Here, that centre stack screen has been optionally upgraded to improved Pro status, which gets you integrated gesture control and perhaps most notably the Wolfsburg brand's intuitive voice activation system, which can recognise common commands prefaced by the phrase, Hello Volkswagen. How can I help? Anything this central monitor can't tell you, and much that it can, will be covered off by the 10.25 inch digital cockpit Pro instrument binnacle screen I just mentioned. Its virtual gauge is embellished in this hot hatch model with stylized GTI branding and a smart honeycomb background. This display is a little smaller than the virtual cockpit screen you'd get in a rival Audi S3, but works in much the same way. A view button on the steering wheel offering a choice of four graphic layouts. Let's take a seat in the rear of this now five-door only model. Thanks to the extra 16 millimetres of length between the wheels with this Mark 8 Golf design, a pair of six-foot adults can be accommodated reasonably comfortably here, providing front seat occupants don't slide their seats fully back. There's a centre armrest with twin cup holders. You get twin USB-C ports down here on top of the transmission tunnel, uh, three-zone climate control with twin vents, upper as well as lower seat back pockets, and decently sized door bins. Let's finish this segment by taking a look in the boot, the catch for which, as usual, is activated by pushing this centre tailgate badge. Once it's raised, you get 380 litres of space, the same as the almost identically engineered Cupra Leon. Uh, pushing forward the conventional 60-40 split rear bench frees up 1,237 litres across a wide area that will be completely flat if you have this adjustable height boot floor in its upper position. You'll pay around £34,000 for a standard Golf GTI or just under £36,000 for one with DSG auto transmission. This more focused GTI Club Sport version of that model from launch required a budget of around £38,000. You'd think a model badged Club Sport would be offered with manual transmission, but no, this one's auto only. The GTI Club Sport model, as you would expect, gets its own bespoke specification in addition to standard GTI features. That gives you a performance brake system and all the little visual changes inside and out that we detailed for you in our design section. Most owners will want to consider the option of adding DCC adaptive damping. They might also want a few of the options added here. The larger 19-inch Estoril wheels, the head-up display, a rear-view camera, and the winter pack, which gives you heat for the front seats and for the washer jets. 
You might also want the Pro upgrade for the Discover Navigation Central screen, which gets you integrated gesture control and perhaps most notably the Wolfsburg brand's intuitive voice activation system, which can recognize common commands prefaced by the phrase, Hello Volkswagen. How can I help? At the time of this test, in summer 2021, Volkswagen was also offering a meaner looking Club Sport 45 model with special 19 inch Scottsdale wheels and a metallic black finish for the upper part of the spoiler and a bespoke finish for the steering wheel and seats. There's no power output increase for this variant, but Volkswagen has taken the 155 mile an hour speed limiter off the engine so it maxes out in the 45 model at 166 miles an hour. And you get a throatier Akrapovich exhaust. For all that, you'll need just under £3,000 more, so a budget of just under £41,000. Whatever kind of Golf GTI you choose, Safety Kit includes front assist autonomous braking and a lane assist lane keeping system. Also standard is a bit of technology that Volkswagen is very proud of. It's travel assist setup, which enables so-called level two autonomous driving at high speeds. This is a camera and radar sensor controlled assistance system that will autonomously accelerate, brake and steer your Golf while maintaining a safe distance to vehicles ahead. The GTI Club Sport returns virtually the same WLTP rated efficiency figures as a standard Golf GTI DSG Auto model. So up to 38.7 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and up to 166 grams per kilometre of CO2. For the Club Sport 45 variant, it's up to 38.2 miles to the gallon and 168 grams per kilometre. Whichever Golf GTI Club Sport model you select, uh, you can monitor its ongoing frugality via selectable consumption readouts on the left-hand side of the digital instrument binnacle screen or via the vehicle section of the centre dash screen where you can select since start, long term and since refuel readouts on economy. Servicing? Uh, well, as usual with Volkswagen models, there's a choice of either fixed or flexible maintenance packages. You'll choose the fixed approach if you cover less than 10,000 miles a year. And with this, the car will typically be looked at every 12 months. If your daily commute is more than 25 miles, and this Golf will regularly be driven on longer distance journeys, then you'll be able to work with a flexible regime that can see you traveling up to 18,000 miles between garage visits or every two years, whichever is sooner. Less impressive is the three year 60,000 mile warranty cover. The GTI Club Sport is the fastest and most focused Golf GTI yet, but also impressively, in some ways, the one that best replicates the agile effervescent style of the 70s original. You might not know that from the stat sheet figures, in all the dynamic measures that tend to matter to hot hatch drivers, uh, rest to 62 miles an hour acceleration, top speed, lap times, lateral grip, braking performance and so on, this enthusiast orientated Golf never really seriously bothers the class best. You might not be immediately arrested by the looks either, or the initial experience on the drive around the block, but persevere. Nearly half a century of experience in creating a car of this kind has to count for something. It does. Importantly, unlike some of its rivals, Wolfsburg hasn't made the mistake of developing this model only for the track rather than the road, so bumpy British tarmac doesn't bother it. You're always confident in pushing the performance envelope in a way that few rivals can match. Yet that's possible without the sweaty palms that usually characterize red mist motoring. And in summary, well, this may not be the raw, slightly crude, race-inspired shopping rocket that some enthusiasts might crave, but it's still a very credible evolution of a classic performance model line, and a car the hot hatch Cognoscenti will rate highly.